Hey guys, today I'm trying to um, fix my um, my windows. Um, it was working fine. It was going up and coming down. And then yesterday it was down. I was trying to put it up back, and it wasn't going up back. The rear ones also, none of them is going up or down. So I thought it was uh, first thing I checked. Is a fuse, it's a fuse box right inside on your bottom on your left hand side foot. And uh, this one right here, I think, uh, is a 30 amp fuse. Uh, I checked it, but uh, I swapped it with the next one, and it's good, so it's not the fuse, so probably you know. Is this um, this power window switch right here? I open it and checked it. This is a switch right here. And uh, it goes in the panel like that. And this is a top for it. Uh, it can be this switch is not working properly, or it can be a electrical problem, or the window regulator the motor because I don't hear the motors coming on it can be uh, you know something you know not working but I use a tester and check is the check the wire just pop this out there's a screw hole in it here you just flip this up like this screw there holding it and this is a connector here that um, connects here. I put on a um, test light and um, got a good ground. And I use the test light and like this. I use any type of test light. And you want to put it on the on position. Put it on the on position. Not start it on the on position. And this is the the ground right here, and this one here is power. As you can see, it's getting um, power from the the battery. The power is coming from the battery going towards the fuse and the relay or whatever, and coming here. And you can I'm getting power here, so I'm getting and also I'm getting 12 volt here, so. Because I use this, um, I can't find my um, multimeter, so I, I use this um, alternator. Um, you know, to check the alternator um, power, how much voltage is um, putting on. And it comes with two leads like this. It comes with two leads like this, so I put this one to this. Um, test light and the other side I put it to um, um, this the power here and it's saying it's getting 12 volt there as you can see lights up 12 volt the battery is charged also okay and one other thing I noticed um, Uh, when I connected this back to this um, harness wire here, like this, like this, I connected it back to the wire here, and I took the test light and put it on the the, the hot wire here, and I tried to. Um, and I put it on the ground, I think, on the ground, and I tried to push it down or up. I was getting some kind of movement with the 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 glass was going like down, but it's, it wasn't coming up. And the rear one also, it was um, it was close, and it was going down, 
but not up. It wasn't going up. So it looks like uh, it might have a ground um, electrical problem. Or you never know this switch here is not working too good. Okay, to open this um, door panel here, here. Just one screw hole holding it here and a wrong couple at the bottom. And I'm gonna take this out. And I'm gonna pry it out gently. I'm gonna disconnect this piece here also. There's a tab here, you push it in and you pull it out. So I'm gonna open this door panel up if it, there's a problem inside oh, and right here uh, this um, lever here there's a screw here also don't forget this one So I took out the weather uh, strip plastic around here and the motor is right in here. This is the glass and the reg regulator holding up the glass. And I noticed this is the, the power going towards the motor, the window motor. It was uh, taped up with electrical tape. So probably who had this uh, vehicle before they had some problem with something here so they cut the wire to give the motor a, a direct jump from the battery so I'm gonna <clears throat> jump it with a wires or jumper cable from the battery to see if the motor works if it's going up or down okay you open your hood and you just connect your jumper cables doesn't matter how you connect them. But, you know, if you want, you can connect negative to negative, positive to positive. You can use jumper cables or wires. Run it in the car. And you just this is the motor wire. You just connect it. Any, it doesn't matter. You know. Is the window going to go up? If you want it up or down, you just reverse the wires, reverse polarity. It won't burn the motor or shard anything out. But don't have it too long. As soon as it goes up, take it off. You don't want to let it keep on clicking. And that's the easiest way to jump your, um, your motor, your window motor to get up your window until you figure out figure out what's going on and to fix it I think the motor is working and the regulator just gotta figure out what's going on next you gotta and you can do text do the same for the passenger side driver side but it's a headache to open all and, and jump it like that jump the motor give it direct power so I have to try and figure out what's going on here I think it's a switch. Okay, so this is a quick um, way how to um, get your windows up if you don't know what's the problem. And it's raining. It's raining outside. Uh, you want to get yourself some wires or jumper cable like these connected to the battery. 
you know, positive to positive terminal, negative to negative terminal. And locate, you open your uh, the door panel and locate your uh, motor. You can cut the wire or you can, uh, you know, splice into it or whatever you do. And this is a two wire goes to the motor. And you connect one side. Doesn't matter, you know, re DC motor, it won't burn. 12 volts. Um, doesn't matter inside if you connect, you don't know which one is the positive wire, the hot wire, which one is the brown. Because if you connect it like this, it's gonna take your window down and we switch it, switch it around, reverse uh, polarity. It's gonna take, take it up back like this. You don't want these two to touch together because this is connected to the battery. I'm going to separate them. So this one here. This one, the green one is the... Just connected like this. Try to hold it. Like that. And then get this here. Put it here. As you can see the window is all the way down. Okay, that's it. How to get your window up um, quick if you have power lock switch and it's not working. And you want to know that's that's the way you test your motor too. And you can also test it with a, a multimeter to see if it's getting 12 volts and up uh, 12 volts at the, the motor. I think the motor and the regulator is working fine. I think there's a wire wiring problem. Probably it's not getting a good ground or the power um, window switch is not working properly. And if you want to get it down back you just reverse polarity. Okay this is this is another fuse box under the hood. Uh, these are the relays. This is another fuse box with relay. There's nothing in here or in this one pertaining to the uh, you know the power switch or anything okay so um, I put the switch back together plugged it in and this is the ground the black wire the ground wire that connects to the, the harness piece this is connected to I think the ground is uh, bad because I uh, spliced the wire, cut into it, and this piece um, that goes to the harness plug wire here, I connected a, a good ground to it, a known good ground, and uh, using this, uh, my jumper cables, I connected the, the, the negative side of the battery um, post there. And then um, I connected this wire here to see if it's gonna work, if it's a ground problem or something. And it happens to be it works, as you can see. Here, pressing the lock. And it goes up. As you can see. And the other one also, passenger side, it's working. Uh, rear, rear passenger side. Uh, hold on for a minute. Okay, this one. I was pressing the wrong button. As you can see, goes up and down. And the rear driver's side. Okay, 
So I think it's a, a ground pro a ground problem. It's not getting. I think the wire something is is um, damaged somewhere. Can do a trace this wire and uh, do a continuity um, check on it. Also, this switch I think you can do a resistance check with a voltmeter, ohms meter. Um, so for now I'll probably run a wire, a good ground wire to this, and, um, you know, hook it up back and see how it works, just to get the window uh, working back, and I'm going to check this, um, trace this wire, or, or check this connector here to see but the connector looks good inside here but sometimes it's, it's not um, getting a good um, ground in here as you can see here when I connect the, the two wires that I that I spliced I cut into I connect it back like this this is the ground wire and I hit the connect the wire back and I try to see if it's gonna work is giving me the uh, giving me the, this buzzing um, song press it same thing the rear one you don't hear anything just okay, this one is the auto control the main one main switch and sometimes it's that's, that's the noise I was getting uh, since yesterday I think it's a uh, If I had a good um, switch, I can look around for a used one and see if, if I put the switch on back, get a new one or a used one and put it on, and it works. I mean, if, if the switch is uh, faulty, but if it don't work with a new switch, it's, it's a wiring problem. And one more important thing is, it's good to check for ground. But sometimes if you don't have ground the circuit won't be working at all or properly it's like a short so instead of you opening all the window um, the door panel one by one and and jump the motor that's gonna take a while just check just do a quick ground check and if you have the ground if, if um, there's no ground, you just get a connect a wire direct to the battery ground and uh, or a known good uh, body ground or something, and just put up all your um, put all your windows up. Okay, so I have some wires here. I'm gonna be using this black wire for the ground. I'm gonna put in a ground wire for now. I took it from these wires I had here. I took these out uh, from a I think it was a 96 Camaro. I sh um, stripped the car to pieces. And the guy wanted me to strip it and because he wanted to sell the engine and all kind of things. So I keep the wires and so I'm going to be using this long piece of wire. I'm going to connect, connect this direct to the battery, negative side of the battery and run it inside the firewall to the door panel to the power switch for now.